Hey, hey everybody. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing, wherever you're at, morning, afternoon, evening, because uh, there's people that are here from all over the world. So welcome, my name is Stephanie. If you're brand new to the page, I would love to know that you're brand new. Post new below. I'd love to chat with you. I'd love to hear what your goals are and just connect and help you on your journey. If you are not brand new, where are you tuning in from? I've got to get comfortable. So uh, I, we're in Kentucky. If you followed our Instagram stories at all, we just got back to Kentucky today. So we were in Florida for the last 10 days. And the reason we were in Florida is we were at an event called Keto Academy and more. So our company puts on an amazing event. We're gonna talk about, uh, we're gonna dive into not all of the research today, but I'm gonna share with you, like I'm gonna share with you over the course of the next week, a lot of stuff that we've learned from amazing doctors and researchers and scientists that have been studying ketones for decades before there was exogenous ketones, which means you can drink them before like anybody even had an awareness of ketones, except for people that were using them for medical reasons. And so I got to do that. We're going to talk about a resource. We're going to talk about the reboot because I'm still getting a lot of questions and it's actually still available. And we're going to talk about protons, like a protein shake with ketones in it. Right? So first of all, where are you tuning in from? How are you doing? It is, looks like it's gonna storm here pretty soon. I feel like the light looks really funny on my face. Uh, but I'm a mom, I've got four girls, we homeschool, and we're passionate about helping other families eat better. So our family is not perfect. My children are not strict keto. We eat sometimes keto, sometimes low carb. I'm not counting all of my macros anymore, although I did that like four years ago. But I get up in the morning, I drink ketones, I work out, I do the best I can with my food, and I help a lot of you do the same thing. So the first thing that, well, one thing that we did this last week is we went to an event called Keto Academy. And what we learned was we learned some phenomenal, phenomenal research of just scientists and doctors and people that are passionate about the ketone conversation. So. We've got one of our favorite doctors, we call her Dr. Andy, she's from Canada. We had Dr. Ken Ford there, and so he is, just let me tell you, he is in computer science, but hold on, this, he does, I can't even, oh, here's the deal, he's a member of the NASA Advisory Council since 2007. Like, this man is brilliant, right? Sits on the, the NASA member, like, so he's hilarious, and what he understands about ketones of the brain is phenomenal. The person I'm going to talk about today, she was one of my favorites. Her name is Dr. Lillian. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know her last name. It's really hard to really hard to pronounce. But she is doing specific research on ketones and lots of different things. And so uh, I'm going to talk about what she talked about in her talk. Uh, we got to hear from Dr. Ryan Lowry. So he is him and Dr. Jacob Wilson are in Tampa and they have a lab called ASPI Labs, which is phenomenal and they do a lot of research with ketones and athletes. And then uh, Dr. Mary Newport, she does a lot of research with MCT oil, coconut oil. She has an amazing story about her and her husband. And so her story always touches people's hearts and what she knows about ketones is phenomenal. And then we've got Dr. David Diamond. He's first of all hilarious. And what he talks about is just, just overall being healthy and kind of, kind of debunks this whole fat is bad, right? Like he's got a phenomenal speech, uh, what he's seeing and what they're researching about uh, fat versus sugar and what causes just uh, you not to feel well. And then we've got Dr. He, he was brand new, Brendan Egan, but I'm not exactly sure if I said that right, but he was from, I kind of want to say he was from Dublin. Yep. And so he was great. And then we had Dr. Steven Anton. He was really funny. And actually we got to have supper with him a couple weeks ago in Florida when my husband and I flew down there. And so all these people are so passionate about ketones. It's really amazing. We had Josh Perry come. He is a, a former pro BMX racer. And what he has done is shifted uh, from being a BMX racer, which he still is, and he advertise and he helps with uh, coaching people, but he's really diving into the power of ketones and the ketone conversation because of what it's done for his life. And so, all of the speakers were phenomenal. And when I go there, I'm like, man, what we get to do and what we get to be like, see, is amazing. Like sometimes people will go, is this like we'll see how long this diet lasts, and I want to go. This isn't a diet. This is a lifestyle. Like. 
This isn't, it didn't just start four years ago. This has been ongoing for years and years. They've got research up to a hundred years of people using ketones in the ketogenic diet in medical outside. reasons. You cannot go outside, it's gonna storm. No, nope. they're coming out in just a minute. It's, I just heard the thunder. So here's the deal. It's, I'm so, so, so excited. And every time I go, I'm like, this is what we need to be doing. Sometimes people go, you know, do you really think that that's healthy? Do you really think that how you're eating is healthy, right? And I think people have a skewed vision of like what ketones or the ketogenic diet is. A lot of people dive into going, oh, all I do is eat bacon and butter. That's not really a keto diet. Like a keto diet is really good fats. It's good meats. It's lots of greens. It's lots of vegetables. Like it's eating good whole food. That's what it is, right? It's people just go, oh, you eat all this fat. No, if you're living on bacon and butter, that's not like a healthy keto, keto way of eating. So what I want you to understand is this. There is the lifestyle that, no, 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 we just ate dinner. No, we, we, I'll give him a snack in just a second. You just have to wait till I'm done. So uh, welcome to our home. So a lifestyle that works for you is the one that you'll stick with long-term. All the kids are coming inside. So here's the deal. Uh, what she said is something that I learned four and a half years ago. So four, oh, four years ago, we went to an event very similar. It was a, one of the very first keto academies or uh, there was a doctor, Dr. Dominic Diagostino. He was there and I got to interview him and he said, Stephanie, and this is when I had no idea, honestly, what ketones were except for the fact that I was drinking them and I was eating better. And hey, welcome everybody that if you're hopping on, where are you tuning in from? Um, I'm talking about research that we learned. You should press the share button below or tag a friend that needs to hear this because it's super powerful. So he told me four years ago, he said, Stephanie, there are people that will never get their body into ketosis no matter how hard they try. And I didn't understand that at all. And I was so new to the conversation and I was like, okay. But I, I kind of took it like in the back of my head. And sometimes I would tell people like, well, you won't, not everybody will get into ketosis, but I didn't know why, right? Well, Dr. Lillian, what? I don't. Dr. Lillian answered my question this week. So they were actually doing tests on just people in general, right? And I'm not a doctor, I am not a scientist, so I can't give you all the research, but very soon there'll be a little snippet or a little video that comes out about what she says. And actually I'll post a little image of her and a little phrase when the video is done, I'll post it in the comments. But what she found out and the research she's done is they actually have proof and research that there are people that will never get their body into ketosis no matter how hard they try due to specific reasons and so it was phenomenal and I was like ah oh. like some of you message me and you're like I've tried forever I'm not sure why it's working uh, if you're doing everything that you say is what needs to be done to be on a ketogenic diet it's not working like she was like it doesn't work for everybody now she actually took the ketones the very first time that she came and spoke to us everything she talked about was the ketogenic diet and this was last year since then in the last year she now drinks ketones our keto nat my mom fuel and they did research on people that were not getting their bodies into ketosis and she was saying how phenomenal it is and why because this is like your life preserver. So four years ago when I drank this, all I knew was my husband asked me to drink ketones. That's all I knew. And we were going to eat better. Fast forward four years, the research that they are doing with ketones is mind blowing. So on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, and if you want to, you will see our whole day. So if you go to Instagram and type in keto mom online, all one word on there, I talk about, I just share our story, share our life. I asked people today if they had any questions. One of the questions was, if I'm eating keto, why do I have to drink ketones? Or if I'm eating low carb, why do I have to drink ketones? And I said, there's a difference between low carb and keto. Uh, if you want a really good resource, here's the deal. This is a really, what? This is a really good resource. Uh, one second. It's called the Ketogenic Bible. And so in this book, not only will it give you like, because I'm not a doctor, I can't answer medical questions. I can say, you have to go ask your doctor. I can give you some very specific tools if you want to know like, hey, Stephanie, can I drink this with this? Or can I drink this if I'm X, Y, and Z? Like I can give you a video and a tool that might help answer your question, 
but I'm not going to do that because I'm a mom and I'm, and I'm learning, but I'm not your doctor. But this book not only talks about the benefits of exogenous ketones, that's drinking ketones versus endogenous, which your body makes, right? I've just learned that those fancy words because I've been around it for a long time. What do you need it for? Oh, no. You tell them all to get off the phone. Tell them to get off. Tell them to get off of it. No. So in here, not only is there recipes, but there, but what, so Dr. Ryan Lowry and Dr. Jacob Wilson are some of the authors in this. Actually, I think they're the only ones. Dr. Jacob Wilson, and Dr. Ryan Lowry are the authors of the Kijik Bible. You want a good resource? Here is a really good resource to answer tons of questions. How to start, what to do, what to look for, uh, the power of ketones. Like this is a really good resource like this right here. So there you go. If you have it, who has it? Raise your hand. Do you love it? Yes, you do. So what she was talking about was. There are people that legitimately need a helper. Helper meaning drinking ketones. This is what I drink every single day. And so today, like I said on Instagram, the question was, why do I have to do that? Well, a ketogenic diet is approximately 80% fat, 15% protein, 5% carbs. Your body will make ketones. Hopefully. Not everybody's does. A low carb diet is not the same. Your body's not making ketones, but you're just eating better foods. No. You may have... I'll be right down just a minute. You probably cut the bread off. You like to the buns off the burgers. You stop making the potatoes. You stop making the spaghetti. You're just eating better, right? You've cut the carbs down. Doesn't mean your body's making ketones. And both are fine. There are people that eat keto that love it. Uh, I don't know very many people that actually stick with the diet long term for a, a really long, long, long time, or they're in ketosis all the time. They're kind of in and out. But there are people that eat low carb and they do great, right? You just need, you just need to drink a lot of water and make sure you've got something to help with your cravings. What I'm simply saying is this, if you are doing low carb, the benefits of drinking ketones is what? You've got ketones in your system, right? Like you can drink this, you can test your blood, you're in ketosis in under an hour and it helps get your head above the water. I tell people it's like my life preserver. When I first started as a mom, I was overwhelmed. My legs are falling asleep. I was overwhelmed, I was tired, I needed a nap every single day. I just needed something to be like my helper, to go, Stephanie, you've got brain clarity, meaning I could think clearer, I felt like my brain turned on, uh, I had the energy to keep up with my kids, I had just, I just felt good. And then I dove into eating better. That's what she talked about and they were doing research on the power of what this can do for so many people and I was like, yes, I knew that, I just didn't know how to say it, and I didn't know there was research on it. So, that's super exciting, along with all the other things that we learned about. So that's what I wanted to simply say is this. There's so much research and so many wonderful things going on for people that this conversation isn't going away, and it just validates that we're feeding our families better, right? Again, if it's not strict keto, that's fine, but I tell people, the reason that we eat this way is if I went back to eating the way that I was eating, I'd be living off of chicken nuggets, corn dogs, Debbie snacks, and frozen pizza every single day, no matter what. And we know, we know that's not good for you. We know it. We just don't want to admit it, right? And so I say, okay, if you don't think what I'm doing is healthy, but I'm eating whole foods, I'm eating solid foods, I'm eating vegetables and meats and salads and things like, like, like let's just have some common sense. Right. So anyways, that's what I want to talk on here is be watching because over the next week I'll be sharing with you another, uh, another ketone expert that came in and spoke to us. She was phenomenal. I loved her and she was so passionate and she came in a year later with way more excitement because we had this and she's been using it. And I think she uses it two times a day and she loves it. And so um, if you want to know more about my mom fuel, cause I'm going to dive into a couple other things. Uh, I do five and 10 day experiences every single day. You can post five or 10 in the comments. I will send you a video to watch that explains it in a really fun little cartoon way and you can try it or just message me back and forth with a five or 10 and uh, I'll help you with your food. Like I'll give you an idea of how we started. I will walk you through how we eat. I will walk you through how I drink my ketones every single day. And so that was this, like, I'm, I promise you, when there's another Keto Academy, you should all meet me there. All of you. If you're interested in ketones, I will let you know when the next one is, and you can come and join me. Okay, next up. Uh, I already told you the resource that I was going to share today. The resource is the Ketogenic Bible. Go grab it. 
You will love it, especially if you're passionate about this way of life, this lifestyle. Um, two more things. A lot of you are asking about the Reboot. The Reboot is still available. You can go grab it. Go to ketomomreboot.com. It's available. I thought it was done today, but I guess it's done on the 7th. So you've got two more days to decide if you want to get it. We're going to start on the 16th. Father's Day, but we're starting that night, so you'll be just fine. And uh, what you do is you go through the entire kit. We plug you into a private group. You drink everything in the kit, and then uh, you've got crazy clarity of mind. I tell people it helps you understand that you're not controlled by food. You control food. Like, you control the way you eat, the habits. You control emotional eating. Like, it just gives you an extra five seconds to go, am I hungry? Am I bored? Am I eating because I'm emotional? Like, it's pretty powerful. I'm not going to lie. So a lot of you can grab the reboot and uh, post reboot below. I'll send you all the information. And then lastly, some of you saw me drinking this today on, on um, this is brand new. It's called Keto S Pro or Protones. This is brand new and I was drinking it on my Instagram story. So a lot of you go, hey, I get this question almost daily. Hey, what's your favorite protein? What protein do you drink? Do you have a low carb protein? We have a brand new protein. Uh, but it's got ketones in it. It's got amino acids in it. I actually have a video that if it's not available right now, so don't get mad, but it'll be available very soon. Uh, I was just talking to the CEO today. And I was like, Hey, uh, it would be great if we could get this available so people could grab some protons, right? Protein with ketones in it. And so this is phenomenal. So promotes ketone production, um, over two times longer lasting, increases satiety, improves recovery, boosts the immune system, bio identical to what your body creates as far as ketones go, enhances absorption, reduces muscle breakdown, builds more muscle, and accelerates fat loss. So, and it's got a ton, I think there's like seven patents on this, and it's absolutely delicious. We've got a chocolate and an orange. It's so good. So, I was talking to one of the doctors, I actually got to interview them the other day, Dr. Ryan Lowry and Dr. Jacob Wilson, the authors of the Ketogenic Bible, and I said, when would be the best time for me to use this? And he said, after your workout. So in the mornings I go work out, I grab a keto nat, I go work out, I drink a lot of water, um, and then he said, if you wanted to, Stephanie, this would be a great thing to add on after your workout to help with your recovery, to build up your muscles. So I was like, boom, done, and it tastes great. So. This is the protein that I'm going to be drinking. When it is available, I will let you know, but it is absolutely delicious. It's raining here. Is it raining where you're at? Chocolate and orange. So that's what I was gonna dive on here and talk to you about. And then I also, the last question I got, a lot of, hey, it was every day. Hey, Stephanie, I see that you're traveling. What do you eat? Hey, Stephanie, I see that you're traveling or you're in a conference. What do you take for snacks? And I always tell people, don't mess up good for perfect and don't overthink this. Every single day that I was at the conference, I had my ketones, I had my water bottle, and then I had usually almonds or there's a, there's a bar called a Stoka bar. I think I shared it on one of these videos. It's just like a vanilla bar that's like got like two or three net carbs. Or um, I'm usually not a snacker, so when we would grab lunch real quick, I would grab a burger and I would, they had a really good bacon avocado burger at the conference that I usually grabbed, or I grabbed wings with a dry rub on it. It was just kind of like a garlicky salt, but there was no, there was no, so I usually grab like wings, like real wings, like bone-in wings. I use blue cheese, or I'll grab a burger with no bun, or I'll grab a salad, like a Caesar salad, and, grab, and add some avocado and some eggs or bacon or something on it. I ate that the entire time we were there. So it was either a salad, burger, wings. I like them. My goal is to not be hungry, to feel good, to not fall asleep where I'm sitting there, which you can't because our events are amazing. Um, and then when we travel, I usually grab some almonds or something else to eat. Or we had some jerky that they were handing out too for people to eat, but they always keep it really low carb or keto for us, which is great. And so that's what we do. That's how I eat when I travel. Like, how do you eat when you travel? I tell people sometimes we get so caught up in our heads of what it has to look like or the perfection of that people just blow it, right? Like, oh, if I can't, if I can't make it perfect, then I'm just not going to do anything. And I'm like, why would you do that? Like if you can pick a better option, but it might not be perfect, like something you make at home, why would you just blow it? Right? I felt great all week and I, I drank a ton of water and I drank my ketones and I drank my protones because they were so good. And so that's it. 
So we're all gonna be diving into the Keto Reboot very soon, so you've got a couple of days to do that. And then ask your questions. I'll be doing another Facebook Live probably tomorrow, and I will dive in and I will answer, or I'll cover another doctor. So she was one of my favorites, just because she was so fun, and I loved her information. But I will, maybe I'll talk about, I'm not sure who I'll talk about the next day, but I thought I would space them out. So I'll post a little picture below. And then reach out and ask all of your questions. Maybe I'll talk about Dr. Marie Newport. You should look her up. She's fun. Um, oh, this is so good. So reach out with your questions. I appreciate you all. Have a great night. And if you do want some mom fuel, I'm throwing, I have probably six or seven box or um, envelopes that are already packed up and ready to go for tomorrow, but I can make a couple more. So post five or 10 in the comments and I will reach back out to you and we will chat or I'll just help you with your food. So have a great day. We appreciate you all and we'll talk. Tease it. Bye.